Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you don't have a GPU and you still want to run large language models locally in your browser, then maybe have a look at this really nifty tool called as WLAMA. WLAMA is a project based on Llama.cpp which is an inference toolkit that requires a minimal setup and state-of-the-art performance on a wide variety of hardware. WLAMA enables running LLM inference directly on browser by leveraging the power of WebAssembly. WebAssembly or WASM is a binary instruction format that allows code written in languages like C, C++ and Rust to be executed in web browsers and other environments providing performance comparable to native code. It is sort of a sandboxed environment that ensures security and portability, allowing code to run on any platform that supports WASM, including web browsers, mobile devices, and desktop applications. When it comes to WLAMA, WebAssembly or WASM plays a pivotal role. WebAssembly plays that role in enabling fast and efficient text generation WLAMA's models are compiled to WebAssembly, allowing them to run in the browser or other environments that supports WSM. And that enables WLAMA to generate text at incredible speeds, making it suitable for real-time applications. By leveraging WebAssembly, WLAMA can execute complex computations and access large model weights efficiently, providing a seamless experience for the users. This approach also ensures security and portability, allowing WLAMA to run on a wide range of devices and platforms as I mentioned earlier. In this video, I'm going to show you as how easily you can configure WLAMA in your browser, in your application, and then use it. For that, of course, because it deals with WLAMA and code, you would need to have some background in languages like TypeScript and some of the web knowledge in order to embed it in your web page because it will be running in the web browser so you need a website or web page or you should be familiar with HTML plus some of the TypeScript in order to get it working but I will be showing you a very basic example so if you're a TypeScript developer or Node.js developer this should be a piece of cake for you okay so now having said that let's go to my local system and then we will start installing it so this is my terminal and now let's first create a virtual environment i'm just calling it wlama you don't have to create it but i just do it just to keep everything separate from my local system so it's an optional step and virtual environment is created next up let me create a quick directory so that we will be playing around with it uh, in that directory let me go to that directory and let me clear the screen now one prerequisite of course you need to have is to node install and so i already have node installed as you can see and i have npm installed and npx installed if you don't know how to install these please search my channel i already have done a very simple step-by-step -step video as how to do it next up let's create a template with our TypeScript and first time it is just going to ask you this you can press Y here let's wait for it to finish and everything is set up now in terms of that react app next up let's install WLAMA with the help of NPM and that is also installed now and let me clear the screen here now in this the my wlama folder if you do ls you will see that we have our app which is called as my app that we created so cd into it and then you will see that there is a public folder again do ls and you will see that there is an index.html file which we need to replace so open this in vs code i already have it open just open index.html maybe you can remove it from here or you can use the one which is already there but you can simply paste this code here now if you look at this code this is all what you need to do in order to run this basic wlama thing 
at the top we have some html to do some stuff there around header and that sort of thing then we are just creating some html layout and interface if you scroll down this is where the real magic starts where we are defining some of the w lama stuff importing it and then this is where we are specifying our model and you see that these are very small models so this is where you need to make sure that the models which you are using are of smaller size i mean don't try to use 70 billion or 8 billion or that sort of models there uh, try to use smaller models in gguf format because that is what it supports and the max size which it supports at the moment is uh, 2 gig so if you have a larger model you can always split it there is a very nifty utility which splits the gguf models and i have done a video on it you can search the channel um, so but i would suggest that because it's running in the browser without any gpu so try to keep it under 2 gig and then there are some asynchronous function which are calling the model and that sort of stuff and this is where we are doing the completion inference where we will be providing a sentence and then we will uh, ask the model to complete it so that is what it is all happening and then we are also going to use an embedding model embedding models are which converts um convert text into numerical representation this is mainly used for retrieval augmented generation so you can also use that one both the uh, large language models and the embedding models and these are some of the um dom objects for our html and that's all about it so you can see that if you're an html developer or react developer this is very very simple all we are doing it we are just embedding some of the w lama code within it where we are calling uh, where we are uh, getting our models and doing the completions or embeddings or both the, both of them together here okay so that's all the setup all now we need to do is to run it and in order to run it all you need to do is to go to the root of your um, app which is my app and you can see that we have this package dot json and simply run this npm start here it is opening it in the browser and in the browser you should see something like this where it is using these models the top one is for completions and the bottom one is for embeddings now uh, you could either choose your own gguf file under 2 gig or you could just simply load the test model let's load it i have clicked on load test model it is going to take a bit of a time i have no gpu it is all cpu and now this look how quick that is so i'm just giving it a prompt once upon a time number of token let's keep it 50 click on run completion there you go so this is our completion here and then again you can um, load the model for embeddings let's wait for it so and we are just going with this very quintessential bg small uh, embedding model and then let's wait for it it's going to take a bit of a time and but even with the completion one you can see that the speed was very quick and this embedding model took a bit of a time because it is slightly bigger than the previous one and then when you click on calculate embeddings and cosine distance it is telling you how similar both of these sentences are so this is what embedding does so it converts this one into numerical representation this numerical representation and check how similar these are and then it gives you a score between 0 to 1 closer to 1 mean that more similar and closer to 0 means different but all in all you can see that how good it is to run large language models locally with the help of wlama in the browser without gpu so that's it guys i will drop the link to it in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching